Hi graduates, it's Stella from Meeple University and this is Stella's short and sweet preview for Stardust Coffee from Lobby Games. Welcome to Meeple Coffee Shop. Yes, yes, the coffee revolution has started. But I can guarantee you that we have the best ingredients in the universe. Come and try our coffee, enhanced with ingredients out of this world. The game plays two to four players with mechanics such as order fulfillment, dice drafting, and rondel. The game is of medium complexity. In Stardust Coffee, you're adventuring across the galaxy to collect ingredients to make and deliver coffee orders and to destroy galaxy pirates along the way, all in the effort to collect the most points. There are 10 rounds in the game and all dice are rolled at the start of each round. Each player starts with two spaceships they can use one at a time. On the player's turn, they choose a die, choose one of their ships and do all the ship's actions. There are seven different actions that the player can do in any order they want, but one each. The actions are, one, they can sail or move their ship one to three spaces anti-clockwise. Two, they can do die color action, either jump spaces to the nearest space matching the die color or via city space, or harvest the space matching the die color. Three, they can upgrade one of their number actions, giving up matching ingredients. Four, they can collect Stardust, the magic ingredients. You need this for extra points on coffee orders or to do upgrade actions. Players need to go to a certain space where the yellow die is. It's a rare ingredient after all. Five, they can do die number action, which comes in three different options. First, Match the die number to the space to produce matching advanced ingredient, like whiskey. They just stack one to the play board. Second, convert two basic to one advanced ingredients at city space. Or we just get one basic ingredient. Third, they can activate their previously upgraded action on their play board. The sixth action, they can deliver fulfilled coffee order. Gotta serve that caffeine to keep customers happy. Right. And seven, player can attack pirate. The space, like to see, isn't a friendly place sometimes. Be next to the pirate, give up whiskey, and you advance your honor track. This could be worth a lot of points if you reach the end of the track. I guess if you can't deliver coffee, be a space cop is your other option. Make sure you have some whiskey though for the morale of your crew. Then it goes to the next player who chooses a die, one of their ships, and do the actions till all players are out of ships. After 10 rounds, players count their points from completed coffee orders on a track and upgrades on their boards. And whoever has the most points clearly can run their company the best and wins. Players try to do their actions as efficiently as possible and the individual puzzles come from trying to sequence their actions correctly and plan the next turn ahead. The other part of the puzzle is trying to pick the right dice. Sometimes the ideal dice comes rarely, so you gotta prioritize your pick, get the right number or the right color. And if the right options aren't there, you can always take a chance and re-roll them all, hoping for something better, but at a cost. Pirates. The pirate mechanic is an interesting one. Each time you choose to re-roll, the pirate counter moves. If it reaches the end of the track, all pirate ships move and attack player ships in their way, and players can lose valuable resources. But focus on collecting whiskey and attacking pirate ships will potentially get you 16 points, not to mention bonus resources along the way. All in all, Stardust Coffee makes a puzzly, fun, order human game with option to chase up the galaxy pirates for points. And drink coffee while you at it, maybe. So thanks for watching, folks. Check out Stardust Coffee project page. I'll put the link in the description below. The components featured in this video are prototype, 
to rules and our on a final. You would help us by like this video, subscribe and hit the bell, and comments below if you find this video useful. I also share my board games journey on Instagram. Hopefully, I uh, will see you there too. See you next time.